Right, it's our first day in Gaza. We're outside one of the main police stations here. It's run and controlled by Hamas. They're very sensitive about us filming outside here. Uh, we've basically come here to find out how Hamas control and run the Gaza Strip. Mohaba. Mohaba. Welcome to Gaza. A year after their election, Hamas brutally wiped out their rival party in Gaza, Fatah, torturing and killing many of their members and driving the rest underground. Hamas are now firmly in control, but it's widely reported they rule by fear. So um, it looks like uh, this is the uh, this roundabout here is where they're going to set up a checkpoint. Um, While Hamas might be seen as a terrorist organization abroad, here at home, they are the official police force on the streets. And should you cross them, you are dealt with very severely. Ahmed Swedan is a commander in the Hamas police force. Do you think things are better now, or are they worse, in terms of law and order on the streets of Gaza? كانت هناك فوضى في العهد السابق ولم يسيطر عليها أحد لا أجهزة أمنية ولا شرطة فلسطينية فالآن الحمد لله وبنعم الله من الله عز وجل إنه بعد سيطرة حكومة حماس على على قطاع غزة وتم السيطرة بجد بكل جدية في الأرض في الميدان والكل يوم يعمل حساب لهذه الحكومة. In the short time that we've been here, some of the people we've spoken to have said that the police force here are too heavy-handed. Would you agree with that? صحيح إحنا نستخدم القوة على المجرمين فقط. What do you think about the conditions inside this camp? Well, the condition inside this camp is not very good. You're still in the, the emergency phase, yeah. We're still on it because we're still living in the tent. What do you think about the elections coming up? Do you think if there is a new government, they will help you? For me, it might be worse. Because if 